A man found shot and killed on Indies near Westside has now been identified. Fox of the United Jesse Wells has more on that victim and a public safety message shared by leaders in the neighborhood. Police are still trying to figure out exactly what led to the man being killed right here in this alleyway behind me. At the same time, the death marks the first homicide in the Hawville neighborhood this year. Just before 4.30 Monday morning, police believe a person on their way to work spotted a man dead in the alley near West 10th and King Avenue. The victim, who'd been shot to death, has since been identified as 36-year-old Christopher Porter. Why this young man died, I do not know other than the fact that somebody took his life. While longtime community activist and Hawville resident Olgen Williams doesn't know what motivated Porter's murder, he urged the community to speak up and hold his killer accountable. We got to tell on these people. Tell them these bad people, you know. This map highlighting all of this year's homicides in Indianapolis shows Porter's death is the first homicide in Hawville in 2023. That is an improvement from the year before. This map from 2022 shows there were seven homicides in the same neighborhood last year. Any life lost through a homicide or murder is tragic. And what we've been doing out here for years is trying to make it safer for everyone. Police believe Porter was killed sometime Sunday night or Monday morning, several hours before he was discovered. Olgen just wishes people would realize that public safety starts on their own street. Well, it takes us as a community to work together, but it takes right there first on your block to, to work with your neighbors, see who they are, and look out for them. You know, if something happened, you see something on the important, you got to call. As always, anyone with information on this homicide or any other unsolved case can still contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. We have some breaking.